All right, everybody, I just got an email from Greg. It says, please make video. So let me just get my glasses on and let me read this. Regarding preparing for your non-emotional XRP sell-off plan. Lou, I'm watching this video and a few of the other ones. And first things that pops into my head is the AMC Moaz. People need to get off the stock market and the AMC Moaz mindset. I agree. XRP will go up and continue to go up based on utilization. <laughs> Greg, wait till you see the video I just uh, did on the numbers. I proved it. It's not going to be a run-up for a day and a drop. And tokenization over the next couple of years. Yep, that's the big money. Ripple knows that. Okay. I get the feeling that people think this is going to hit 100 or 1,000 and then it will be back at 50 cents. Yeah, you can't get that out of people's heads. They, they don't understand how, how this stuff works. This is not our coin. It's their coin. It's going to be used by them. These are the numbers that showed it. Look at the video beforehand. This is not the case. That being said, there's no emotional or split decision that needs to be made in the spur of the moment. I agree. That's why I told people, take it easy. Engage it as it goes up. This is, this is one of those investments. Like, this is not... This is not one of those kind of uh, this is not one of those kind of things that you have two seconds to decide. Oh my God, what's going on? Mm, actually, no, it's not like that at all. You have to understand when Bitcoin went up and before it dropped down, it was because people were speculating the fuck out of it. This is not speculation. Speculation is not going to get it to one hundred dollars or anything else like that, or a thousand or something. Okay, when I laid out the numbers. I laid out these numbers. That's based on utilization. And that's without that's without tokenization. All right. All right. That being said, there is no emotional split decision that needs to be made in the spur of the moment. This is why planning now on what to do at each personal price point will be helpful for when the time comes. True. Also, things change, shit happens. You may need to sell more. You may need to you may be in a situation where you need to sell less. You don't know what works for you. I just think most of the emails you have getting are panicky, like th there's a short amount of time and one day you will be able to sell and you will have to start making snap decisions. That's true, you're not gonna have to. This is kind of slow. Based on the numbers I showed right here and how it's done, you don't have to. Okay, XRP plan. Add when you can. Always be planning, enjoy the ride, retire and enjoy life. Cue the song X-Force. All right, let me get you the song. Yeah, it, I think people need to understand we're so not in a space where we're in danger of, oh my God, I, I got to press the sell button. It's not like that. The, the banks are going to continue using this back and forth in the daily volumes. They're going to just gobble up your coins and continue doing what they're doing. Little price dips, that's no big deal, but keep this on. Let me see where I put this on file at. You know, the crazy thing about it is, like, I keep thinking to myself, when the time does come and people have their sell price, you know, listen, understand, the banks are not closing shop on xrp it's not like xrp is going to run and then it's over and everybody moves on to the next it's not really like that um the real deal behind this is the banks are still going to continue doing what they're doing no matter what and the thing is with tokenization i don't i don't know how how big it can get there's no way of knowing it you know Think about it. The second they start doing tokenization and they start storing value, like, like an NFT, if you would, you know, in a smart contract and a vault, there's no way of knowing how many coins they're going to use for that. So let me go with this. You're going to freak out when it breaks 100. You're going to think you're dying. You think popcorn's going to get you. But that's not the case. You're gonna have time to sell, or maybe not. Chill, motherfuckers. We're not in the stock market anymore. <laughs>